What's shaking? My name's Cam. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm whipping it out and I'm putting it on the table. I'm of course talking about my delightful writing skills. I'm going to actually test myself today and prove once and for all that I write many word and I write them good. If I do these tests and I score well, uh, the way I see it, I will literally be spared from any bad reviews on anything that I publish ever. That's just how science works. Tricks aside, I thought it would be, I thought it'd be a really fun time if I did a video, if I did something that we could all kind of do together. I'm going to be doing three quick tests or quizzes, if you want to call them that. And the beauty of it is that you can do it at home as well. You can do it at the same time as me. I'll have the links in the description, of course. And then when we're all done, you can let me know in the comments what your score was. Guys, today is the, it's the day. Today is the day. Today is the day that we prove to everyone that we are statistically good at story story right time. Some people will say that being a good writer comes down to a complex blend of countless things. Well, I say it comes down to three things. Spelling, speed, and vocabulary. V uh, vocabulary. Who are you going to listen to? Accomplished authors or me? <laughs> Jokes aside, I'm actually a little bit nervous about doing a spelling test and broadcasting it to everyone online because there's this misconception that if you're a writer, if you claim to be a writer, that you are insanely good at spelling, or at least you think you are. And that's just not always true. I've had people at work ask me in particular how to spell a certain uh, complicated word because they know that I claim to be a writer, and then I immediately start sweating like I've just chugged hot sauce from an old boot. So here we have the Merriam-Webster spelling test. Uh, you should do this with me. Like I said, link is in the description below. Otherwise, you can just get a paper and pencil and do it that way as well. I'm going to start now, but before I do, I want to make a deal with you all, okay? No teasing me if I get a bad score. <laughs> Don't do it. I'll delete your comment. Okay, I, I won't do that, but look, if you tease me, at least make sure it's funny. You know what? It doesn't matter anyway, because I'm going to ace it. I'm going to... 10 out of 10. Easy. Okay, are you ready? We're going to start the quiz now. Okay, so you have to hear the word, obviously. And that's accommodate, funny. as in the hotel can accommodate, accommodate. our group. Uh, date. Uh, two M's. Boom. That's one out of 10. Told you, I'm a genius. Preferred, as in, they preferred to see a movie. Easy. Easy. Okay, well, the difficult, you can see the difficulty rating on them here as well. Disappoint, as in, that performance Dis did not disappoint the crowd. It's easy, huh? I don't know what I was worried about. I'm a genius. Principle, as in, a man of principle. Principle? Questionnaire, as in, please complete this questionnaire. Oh, I'm actually not sure about this one. That doesn't look right. <laughs> Two N's. Okay. All right. I got one wrong. Athlete, as in, Michael Jordan's oh, a athlete. famous athlete. Easy. Specifically, as in, specifically designed for outdoor totally. use. Easy. Easy. How quick you do it as well uh, matters towards your points. Marshmallow, as in a perfectly toasted marshmallow. Gorilla, as in gorilla warfare. Am I going crazy? Go oh, wait, gorillas, it's got like a U in it and shit, doesn't it? F Look, I never claimed to be a genius. Told you, I'm a genius. Neighbor, as in a quiet and considerate neighbor. Oh, wait, what is that? I didn't do that. See, the problem is the Australian spelling would have a U in there, but I know the American spelling doesn't, so. Okay, so I got 8 out of 10 correct, which I think is pretty good. Um, But the score is also a factor. So if you got 10 out of 10, you might still not get... Uh, 4,200 out of 4,200 because your speed also plays a part. I'm going to check the scores on that one to see where we sit. Okay, I set my age as 27, so I'm just above average for people in their 20s as far as 
my spelling goes. I am happy with that, uh, being just above average. That's new for me. <laughs> That's a pretty nice feeling, but you know what? I want to go one more time, and I want to really focus in this time. I'm really sure I can do better. Okay, so here we go again. Uh, keep in mind, guys, you can follow along at home with a paper and pencil if you want. Accumulate, as in the leaves accumulate on the lawn. Desirable, as in a desirable location. Schedule, as in a busy schedule this week. Amateur, as in an amateur photographer. Commitment, as in nobody doubts your commitment. Oh, shit, I really wasn't sure on that one. Illusion, as in an optical illusion. Hygiene, as in dental hygiene. Professional, as in a calm and professional manner. Basically, as in he's basically a good kid. One question left, here we go. Gauge, as in the car's fuel gauge. Did I just get 10 out of, I just got 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, baby. Now who the hell said I'm not a, ge I'm not a genius? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Well above average. Let's go, baby. 3,540, that's the score to beat, guys. Let me know how you go. So that'll do it for spelling. I think safe to say I'm at least okay. In that field, I'm not. I was at least a bit above average on both fronts there, so I'm happy. I'm cool with that. But now, it's time for the next challenge. So this one's on Merriam-Webster as well. Uh, it'll be harder to follow along from home with this one, just because of how it's structured, but feel free to yell at the screen if I'm getting it wrong. <laughs> Which I won't, because I never get it wrong, you know? Not once. Alrighty, here we go. Starting one, two, three. Which is a synonym of reproach? Scold. Which is a synonym of ineffable? Uh, indescribable. Which is a synonym of pertinent? I was going out on a little bit of a limb with that one. Which is a synonym of indolent? I think it's lazy. Which is a synonym of indirect? Indirect. Which is a synonym of inexorable? Damn it. Which is a synonym of precipice? Okay, I know that one. Uh, that would be cliff. Resolution, uh, that is promise, piety. Resume, continue. Okay, uh, seven out of 10 for vocabulary. Yeah, okay, just below average. That's fine, who cares, doesn't matter. Um, doesn't even matter. You know what, I'm doing it again. Let's go one more time. Acid. Okay, so I got a I got a way better score on that one, which is weird because I felt like I did better on the last one. Uh, fair enough, eight out of ten. Oh, look at that, bringing it home again. You guys are gonna have to start calling me uh, slightly above average Cam. <laughs> that's gonna, that's gonna be my new YouTube nickname. Not bad, not bad. Okay, how'd you go? Uh, 2,720 is the score to beat. Let me know what you got on that one. So now it's time for the final test. This is it. If you didn't do so well on the last two, if you weren't also slightly above average, now is the time to bring it home. This one is on the Human Benchmark website, which has actually a bunch of other fun kind of tests and stuff you can do. 
Um, but this one in particular focuses on writing. And last time I did a speed test for typing, I think I was around average, maybe just above. I think it was around 55 uh, words a minute. That was a couple of years ago, so I would hope that I'm faster now. I think I'm a fast guy. Uh, all the girls I've ever dated have called me Quick Finish Cam. They wouldn't tell me why, but I assume it's because I'm very efficient. But here it is, we'll do the typing test. If I get at least 55 words a minute, I think I'll be happy. Okay, here we go. I'm probably gonna have to mute this bit so you don't hear the click clacking, but um, okay. Oh, 64 words per minute. Well, I mean, it's it's better than what I thought I would get, so I'm happy in that sense. So 78.6 in the percentile, which is pretty good. Uh, you want the higher number. Let's see how it measures up. Okay, so yeah, definitely above average. So most people sit around the 40 words per minute mark, and we're over here in the 60s, 64. So I'm a bit above the average person, but we need to take into account that, you know, my hobby is writing and also my full-time work involves me typing pretty much all day. I don't feel like 64 words per minute is very uh, high for someone who spends as much time typing as me. I don't think I'm that good at typing quickly. But I do want to mention that I think part of the difficulty with this type of test is that I'm also reading and trying to, you know, I'm reading from a screen and then trying to type it down uh, with the same caps and grammar and all that. If I'm just typing, you know, from my head, I feel like I can go a bit faster, but I don't know. I'm going to go again because I completely, I completely fucked up that last one. 67 words per minute, so a bit better than last time. But again, the difficulty I'm having isn't so much with the typing. It's because I have to go back and fix errors because I'm trying to read from a screen and then flick my eyes down to the keyboard. Whereas if I'm typing from my mind, I don't need to look up at the screen so much. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to break 70 words per minute, which is a little bit disappointing. But um, let me know how you go. I'm sure there'll be tons of people who can write faster than me. I'm admitting that now, okay? I'm sure there are plenty of writers who can write way faster than me. So if you're going to rub it in, at least be gentle. So that's basically it. I was uh, a bit above average for pretty much every test, and you know what? That's more than I, that's more than I hoped for. So I'm satisfied. I'm happy with that. I think it was fun. It was a fun video today. It was good to like do something with you guys. I'm sure I'll do more videos like this in the future. If you haven't subscribed already, and you like writing videos and videos about writing. Uh, make sure you do that so you don't miss any future uploads. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and if you watched this far in the video, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Catch ya.